Donald Trump just surrendered at Fulton County Jail in Georgia and got quickly released after taking his mugshot. So here are the charges right here. One count of violating the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. Three counts of solicitation of a violation of oath by public officer. One count of conspiracy to commit impersonating of a public officer. Two counts of conspiracy to commit perjury in the first degree. Two counts of false statements and writings. Two counts of conspiracies to commit false statements and writings. One count of filing false documents. One count of conspiracy to commit filing false documents. Holy shit. Did he do all this? Who fucking knows? I don't get into politics. I just thought this was incredible. This is a piece of history. We have a former United States president that has four criminal cases against him. That's like unprecedented. That's insane. And we know how much of a cult following he has. It's like just unreal. This is a piece of history. I had to cover this. Here are the strengths of the case right here. Trump's efforts to undo the Georgia results were based on blatant falsehoods and were largely conducted out in the open. His phone call to Raffensperger was recorded. So there's a phone call I don't know much about, but I'm pretty sure he self snitches a little bit in it, apparently. He said he didn't self snitch in it, but who knows? Apparently there's a self snitching phone call. And just like rappers and lyrics and messaging people, self snitching is the dumbest thing you can do. Eight Republican activists who falsely claim to be the state's presidential electors for Trump have taken immunity deals and will have agreed to cooperate with Willis. Oh, so there's people cooperating against Trump. Oh, he might be fucked, boys. I don't see how someone who has four criminal cases like this doesn't end up in prison for the rest of their life. Like, I'm not even, like, trying to say that's what's going to happen, but, like, that's my guess. This is, like, four serious criminal cases. All right, here's the weaknesses. A local prosecutor charging a former president with election interference is unprecedented in American history. Trump may claim he is immune from being prosecuted for his actions he took while he was still president. So the prosecutor who did this, I believe her name is Fanny Willis, is the same prosecutor that is going after all the gangs and she went after YSL and, and she's cracking down on all the gangs there too. So here's what she said quickly about the indictment right here like a week ago. I'm here with the prosecutors and investigators who have worked diligently on the investigation of criminal attempts to interfere in the administration of Georgia's 2020 presidential election. Today, based on information developed by that investigation, a Fulton County grand jury returned a true bill of indictment, charging 19 individuals with violations of Georgia law arising from a criminal conspiracy to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election in this state. The indictment includes 41 felony counts and is 97 pages long. Please remember that everyone charged in this bill of indictment is presumed innocent. Specifically, the indictment brings felony charges against Donald John Trump. She just listed all his co-defendants, not important. I'm focusing on Trump. Fucking wild, dude. A damn former president. That is insane to me. The participants in association took various actions in Georgia and elsewhere to block the counting of the votes of the presidential electors who were certified as the winners of Georgia's 2020 general election. As you examine the indictment, you will see acts that are identified as overt acts and those that are identified as predicate acts, sometimes called acts of racketeering activity. Overt acts are not necessarily crimes under Georgia law. An overt act, I had to explain this in my last video about the Young Thug case. An overt act is like basically, if someone goes and buys a ski mask at a store, that's legal. You can buy, go buy a ski mask. That's perfectly fine. It's an overact and it's illegal if you're buying it to commit a crime and use the ski mask, to, you know, to rob a store or some shit. That's what an overact is. Like renting a car, renting a car to rob people. Like that's an overact, renting that car. But are alleged to be acts taken in furtherance of the conspiracy. Many occurred in Georgia and some occurred in other jurisdictions and are included because the grand jury believes they were part of the illegal effort to overturn the results of Georgia's 2020 presidential election. The acts identified as predicate acts or acts of racketeering activity are crimes that are alleged to have been committed in furtherance of the criminal enterprise. All elections in our nation are administered by the states, which are given the responsibility of ensuring a fair process and an accurate counting of the votes. That includes elections for presidential electors, Congress, state officials, and local offices. The state's role in this process is essential to the functioning of our democracy. And here's what Trump said about that district attorney, Fannie Willis, that we just watched. Here's what he said about her. There's a young woman, uh, a young racist in Atlanta, she's a racist. And they say, I guess, they say that she was after a certain gang and she ended up having an affair with the head of the gang or a gang member. And this is a person that wants to- Okay, that's a whole other conspiracy that I've heard about. This all wraps into the Young Thug case. Trump's indictment apparently wraps into the Young Thug case. That's what Trump is saying here. Fanny Willis, the district attorney, was dating someone who got killed by someone in Young Thug's gang. That's what he's saying. She's avenging that person who got killed by YSL by indicting YSL and putting effort into it. Is that true? I don't fucking know, but it's wild. How is the YSL case and Trump 
involved. <laughs> and she ended up having an affair with the head of the gang or a gang member. And this is a person that wants to indict me. She's got a lot of problems, but she wants to indict me to try and run for some other office. Bro is sweaty as shit. He is sweating bullets up there, dude. Yeah. Is all this true? Who fucking knows? But this is wild. This is great entertainment right here, boys. And that's what I'm here for. I try not to get in politics because it's a cesspool of puppets and people that are just not really who they say they are, but it's entertaining right now, dude. Here's the article, which talks about how Fonnie Willis back in 2019 served as defense attorney to an Atlanta-based rapper named YSL Mondo. Now here's the context. Mondo is a co-founder of the rap group YSL Crew, whose most famous member is rapper Young Thug, who now prosecutor Fonnie Willis has indicted along with multiple members of the YSL Crew in a sweeping RICO case that alleges that they are not a rap crew, they are a gang. See where this is going? And note again that Willis was not Mondo's prosecutor at the time, as the Trump ad claims. She was his defense lawyer. The Rolling Stone piece does not in any way say or even suggest that the two had a relationship outside of their professional one. Meaning Trump is doing what Trump does, taking a fragment of something that is true that Fonnie Willis knows YSL Mondo and twisting it into a perverse false claim. I don't know if that's true either, but interesting. Trump might argue that his statements about the Georgia results are protected by the First Amendment or that he lacked criminal intent because he genuinely believed he won the election. <laughs> is delusion that, that's a, that's actually a funny statement like he like was so convinced that he just was going by what he actually believed that's like pretty funny is that how like tax evasion works isn't that a thing where like irs comes after people that didn't pay their taxes but they're like oh but i didn't even know that i owed this much or i didn't know that i did that wrong but i'm pretty sure you can still get in trouble if you fuck up your taxes right like even if you do it not knowingly you have that responsibility to not fuck up your taxes am i wrong here he is Bro was in and out of that jail. I'm pretty sure he got out within like 30 minutes after taking that mug shot, dude. That's crazy. Let's see what he says, boys. I really believe this is a very sad day for America. This should never happen. If you challenge an election, you should be able to challenge an election. I thought the election was a rigged election, a stolen election, and I should have every right to do that. As you know, you have many people that you've been watching over the years do the same thing, whether it's Hillary Clinton or Stacey Abrams or many others when you uh have that great freedom to challenge you have to be able to otherwise you're gonna have very dishonest elections what has taken place here is a travesty of justice we did nothing wrong i did nothing wrong and everybody knows it. i've never had such support and that goes with the other one i thought he said i never had sex support for a second too what they're doing is election interference they're trying to interfere with an election there's never been anything like it in our country before this is their way of- I love how that's a meme. Like, you can impersonate Trump if you get his voice down and move his, your hands like a T-Rex. This is one instance, but you have three other instances. It's election interference. So I want to thank you for being here. We did nothing wrong at all. And we have every right, every single right, to challenge an election that we think is dishonest, that we think it's very dishonest. So thank you all very much, and I'll see you uh, very soon. Thank you very much. God, media people literally just scavenge for any quote. That's so crazy. That's their job. Yeah, I don't know if he really did it intentionally and he knew that it wasn't stolen. Who fucking knows, bro? I've avoided politics for seven years, pretty much. Besides like seven years ago in 2016, I think I, I told my mom I voted for Trump and that was a good prank on my mom because she is very democratic. Yeah, this shit, it's a piece of history. I had to do this. I love you guys. Comment down below your opinion. Let me know if I fucked up anything. I don't know much about this. I just know it's interesting. So yeah, love you guys. Peace out.